But let me just say this before I uh, lose my time. There is more evidence of voter fraud than there was ever evidence of Russia collusion. So those who keep saying, let's see the evidence, where the hell were you the last four years? You were nowhere. The Democrats went earlier and earlier voting and later and later counting. Now, why do they want that? More time, more time to fix the system. I don't mean reform it. I mean fix it in their favor. They believed in flooding the system, create chaos. They've done this in a number of places. Grab power and then accuse your opponent of misbehavior. Where does that come from? Two Marxist professors, Cloward and Piven. That was their ideology. The Democrats have embraced this for years and years. Now we're supposed to have unity. Let me tell you something. I'm part of the new resistance. God forbid if our president doesn't win. They didn't give this man one minute of peace when he was president. Not one minute. State criminal investigations, federal criminal investigations, congressional investigation, phony impeachment, coup attempts, the Obama-Biden administration uh, with, the, with the FBI spies and all the rest. At no time during the last four years did Joe Biden say, let's unite around our president. So, Mr. Biden, God forbid if you're president, but I personally intend to treat you the same way Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Jim Acosta, Fredo Cuomo, and all the rest of them treated my president. So you're not, I am not uniting around this man any more than they united around our man. But it ain't over till it's over. And let's see what the Supreme Court does, and let's see what happens in these other cases because they're vital. And by the way, in 2000, when we had the, uh, the, uh, the challenge, Al Gore had 37 days where in one state chasing chads. We have multiple states. The president needs more time. It is a rogue court filled with leftists. So I, I don't know why the president of the United States should surrender. I'm going to tell you something. You are being pressured now and you are being propagandized now. And I'm coming under enormous pressure. To just quote unquote accept the results. You better not talk about any of these conspiracy theories or anything of the sort. What conspiracy theories? I never talk about conspiracy theories. The left talks about conspiracy theories. When the Russia hoax was going on, I don't remember anybody telling me not to uh, talk about that because it's a hoax. Accept and respect the results. Ladies and gentlemen, for four friggin' years, the Democrats accepted no results. For four friggin' years, they said this was an illegitimate president who was elected by Vladimir Putin. For four friggin' years, they were investigating on one committee after another. For four friggin' years, they tried a coup to try to reverse the 2016 election results. For two and a half friggin' years, they unleashed a criminal prosecution against the President of the United States that failed. The minute they took the House of Representatives two years into his presidency, they impeached the President of the United States for a perfectly fine phone call he made to the President of Ukraine. And every Democrat in the Senate voted to remove the President of the United States. And Mitt Romney voted to remove him, too. Since the moment he ran in 2016 with spies put in his campaign, with a rogue FBI, a rogue intelligence service, a rogue FISA court tried to take him out. The FBI director with dirt on his hands, the deputy FBI director, the associate director of the FBI, Day in and day out, day in and day out, this president was hounded. Our president was hounded. His family was hounded. He didn't have one day of peace, not one day. And that was the plan. And they attacked him in the House, and they attacked him in the Senate, and every damn day in the media. They attack him in the Manhattan DA's office in New York City. Attack him now, the Attorney General of New York. Thousands of subpoenas, on and on and on and on it goes. 
The press corps, the American press, sullies itself, undermines the American people, undermines the office of the presidency. But now we're told, accept and respect the results. Well, the results aren't over. I understand the President of the United States has an uphill battle. And I'll explain why. It's not because of the facts or the law. But now we have Republicans breaking away. The Democrats never break away. Ever. And this is the problem with the Republican Party. And this is why they don't like Donald Trump. He's a strong man. He's a courageous man. He doesn't run. They do. And if it wasn't for Trump, the Republicans wouldn't have held the Senate. If it wasn't for Trump, the Republicans wouldn't have picked up seats in the House. And if it wasn't for Trump, two state legislatures wouldn't have been flipped. But they don't care. They act like they don't care. Now, Joe Biden's going to speak at 8 o'clock. This is the third time since the election. Why? Because he's been told to act like your president. Kamala Harris will be act like the vice president. Get things underway now. Accept and respect the results. Remember all the violence the left was talking about was in one paper after another, was in one news story. And it, where is it? There isn't any. Because their man won. Where's Black Lives Matter? Nowhere. Well, they may be in Portland, but that's it. Antifa. I've told you all along, this is, these are the paramilitary arms of the Democrat Party. And Black Lives Matter, their leaders made abundantly clear their goal was to defeat Trump. Their goal was to defeat Trump. So now we're told the nation must unify. We must get back to normal. Now that we have destroyed the man you elected in 2016, now that we've destroyed, in my opinion, a historic figure, now from their perspective that we've defeated him, now the city's burned, we called you racists, we called you systemically racist, we talked about you as white privilege and all. And by the way, did you see the minority vote for Trump? I'll get to that later. We called him Hitler. We said anybody voted for him were neo-Nazis. But now all is okay because we won the presidency. So just unite behind us. Do what we tell you to do. Keep your mouth shut. And all will be fine. Not me. Unless the Democrat Party and their president receive some of the same medicine, the same medicine they fed to us, the American people, Trump supporters and the President of the United States, this will never end. If they can do and say whatever they want when a Republican is elected, not just a Republican, when a man like Donald Trump is elected and in return nothing, then they're going to keep doing it. So I will say this. Should Joe Biden become president? I'm part of the resistance. Oh, yeah. I learned from the media. I learned from the Democrats. I learned from Bernie Sanders and AOC and Antifa and Black Lives Matter. Now I'm part of the resistance. Now, I believe in a peaceful transfer of power, so I'm not talking about violence. I never have. But I will never accept Joe Biden as president. Because Joe Biden never accepted Donald Trump as president. Ever. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, never accepted Donald Trump as president. Ever. There's not a single newsroom in America that accepted Donald Trump as president. Oh, technically, yes. But substantively, no. 
Now, let's see how the news media treat, God forbid, if Joe Biden becomes the president. Let's see how they treat him. We've already seen. But just remember this. Elephants never forget. I never forget. We do everything civilly and lawfully here, unlike the left. But all those businesses that boarded up can now take down the plywood. Because the paramilitary wing of the Democrat Party seems satiated. They seem just fine. Imagine that. We're still going to have to defend our country from come what may. But this thing's not over. We fight. And notice how we fight legally. When we come back, I want to address the media and Republicans and Democrats who keep saying, where's the evidence? That's the new mantra. Where's the evidence of fraud? Now keep in mind, the media are not in any of these places to look for fraud. And keep in mind, I even hear former federal prosecutors and others talking about this. We're in the third day of this. And so serious lawyers, that is, serious litigators, whether they're criminal or civil, they need time to develop the evidence. So when you say three days in, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? I'm going to give you the greatest evidence of all of tampering with the election system. I'll be right back. I am your voice. 